I'll need you to sign an affidavit, agreeing to our terms before you can see my client. Of course. It's in Braille. Mr. Fisk requested that I accommodate your particular disability. He's a very thoughtful man. You will not come into physical contact with Mr. Fisk. You will not discuss your conversation with Mr. Fisk with any media outlet, government entity, law enforcement agency, or outside party of any kind. Failure to do so will result in severe financial penalties detailed there. You will refer to Mr. Fisk only as Mr. Fisk. And he will not answer any questions until I personally approve of them first. It's a lot of rules. <laughs> rules are what separate us from the animals, Mr. Murdoch. Thank you. Excellence. Straight ahead. Ten minutes, Mr. Murdoch. We met once before, you and I. Before you went after me in court. Do you remember? Was that an art gallery several months ago? I assume you've heard there's been a shooting at the courthouse. Unfortunate news. But why does that send you to me? Because I know you facilitated Frank Castle's escape. Why would I do that? Frank Castle's path and mine are so clearly separate. Lack of motive. Enough to throw any rational law enforcement agency way off your trail. But I'm not biting. Not biting? He's not biting. Donovan Barking! That's what you do. The scheming, the machinations. Frank Castle is a killing machine, and you set him free, which means you're aiming a loose cannon at someone, and we both know it. And you can prove that in a court of law. Where is Frank Castle? Not here. Did you have anything to do with his release? You don't have to answer that. No, I didn't. Clock's ticking, Mr. Murdoch. These days are hectic in Hell's Kitchen. Lunatic shooters. Gang wars. I understand you're frantic. You're looking for answers. I have none. Sometimes I'm glad I'm in here. The fate of New York City is out of my hands for once. That's <laughs> I will 
use every legal loophole and footnote to make certain that never happens. You see, unlike your other adversaries, Mr. Fisk, I can break you without breaking a single law. You may have expensive lawyers, but with one envelope and six dollars postage, I can make sure Vanessa never sets foot on American soil again. One letter to the right office, and I get her visa pulled. I can prove she was an accomplice to every one of your crimes. And now you're thinking you can serve your sentence, hop on a jet, and go to her whenever you like. Live somewhere like Monaco, or I don't know, wherever the hell you fat cats go to sun yourselves. But you can. You can visit her. But you'll never live with her. Because this is New York, Wilson. You live here. This is your jungle. This is your blood. Like it is mine. She will never come. And you'll never leave. You screw with me now, just a little bit. And you'll never really be with your one and only Vanessa ever again. Pick her name again! Go ahead! Yes, the son of a boxer! You... You're all running this place. You, you did set him free. You ask such spare questions, Mr. Murdoch. I know. You're regaining power in here. Yes, ask oh. my lawyer. He'll deny it. Uh. Ask the guards. They'll deny it. Ask the inmates here. They'll cut their tongues out before they talk. But I have something to say to you. When I finally get out of this cage, I will dismantle the lives of the two amateurs that put me in here. You, Mr. Murdoch, and Franklin Percy Nelson. No, I, I put you here, not Nelson. No, I did it. The two of you took the laurels. You'll both take the blame. I'll chop both the heads off of that snake. And I'll spend more than six dollars on postage to bring you down to see. I've had a lot of time to reflect on my journey here. Mr. Murdoch, my mistakes, everything I took for granted. And while I try and sleep in this bleak place, the one thing that keeps me warm is the thought that I will look down upon this city, the city that birthed me with the woman that I love. Who? Whom I love with everything that I am. If you're worried that Frank Castle will wreak havoc on Hell's Kitchen. <laughs> Just wait. Time's up, Mr. Murdoch. Let's do this again sometime. <laughs> <laughs>